Honey. Yeah? Do you ever think about the Roman Empire? The Roman Empire? Mm-hmm. She got options. This is like a little pizza shop, honey. I know. What do you want later today? Surprise me. Pepperoni, a pesto, a sausage, meat lovers. If there's any left, cheese. Probably not. Yeah, there's cheese. What's well, just because the uh, sausage doesn't make it? Good morning. Today I'm gonna try wake and make coffee. It's the coffee that Philip DeFranco's been talking about and when he introduced it, I bought a bag right away, picked up dark matter because I'm a dark coffee gal. It smells good. Oh, I'm getting excited, okay. I decided to get the beans because I like to grind the coffee. I want it to be as fresh as possible. It's good. It's not as good as Vivachi's though. I know, it's good. I could roll with this. I like the nose on it. <laughs> pretty good. That's what I thought too. It's pretty yeah, good. It's solid. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil DeFranco. We bought it. But still, thank you <laughs> for bringing it to the world. I don't this is his coffee or if he's just partnering but it is good i think it's definitely worth a try using my new mittens like a boss this is the best tj maxx purchase <laughs> honey yeah do you ever think about the roman empire the roman empire mm -hmm. Do you ever think about Sometimes, it? Sometimes, yeah. Like what? I just think about how massive it was and how much power and influence it had over basically most of the modern world at that time and the different emperors that commanded it. Yeah, because there's movies on it, it's interesting. Also, another thing I think about it is how quickly it just crumbled and failed. Really? Yes. How often in one day would you say you would in think one day, about it? Not very often in one day, but maybe in a month I'll think, think about two or three times a month. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like what would trigger you thinking about it? Uh, well, definitely if somebody else talked about it or if you think about America and some of the things that are happening now and the correlation to what they went through because there's lessons you can learn um, from history. So it, it could be, I'm thinking about America and will America last? Well, let's look at other empires. Let's look at other countries and their history. And then I'll think about them because it's one of the only other countries we could compare to. No, do you think it's, so what are your overall thoughts on the Roman, on the Roman Empire? Empire? Yeah. Oh, it's, it was massive. It was powerful. It was influential. There was so much that came out of it, technology-wise, and that um, innovation, invention. Mm -hmm. And then also just there's a lot of stories that that uh, came from it. Like the uh, gladiator. That's from that. <laughs> Why? Why are you recording that? Is this a is this a prank or something? Oh, I guess sort of. Why? I guess it's a it's a thing on TikTok that you <laughs> you ask guys. Do you guys talk about it? I guess so. Some guys think about it two to three times a day. <laughs> a day? Oh, I don't think about it that often. <laughs> well, 
that's cute. I love you, honey. <laughs> you know I love history. I know. So it's not just that's why I thought it'd be thing. interesting that I asked you this because I didn't know it was a thing but apparently it's a thing that's been going around um, of wives ha asking their significant other about the Roman Empire yeah uh, and guys they get they just started. get into it they are they're just like Men? Men? yeah yeah yes the only thing I know of the Roman Empire the gladiator or Troy and Troy is not the Roman Empire. Well, then there you go. That's what I know about Troy it. Is, Troy is from Greece. Aw, oh, man. Bad. Mm -hmm. Habits and some people say not a family unit based kind of society anymore. Also, we have to they were traveling too much at one point. So they got in and out of the military power and they also fell into that they're finding all these conquering exploration. I think it's so geeky, but also so cute at the same time. Oh, were you recording that the whole time? Uh, a little bit of it. Oh, wow. Another Those thing. are fun trends that I like to do. Yeah, uh, another thing I was going to mention though, mm -hmm. there's so many cultural parts of the Roman Empire that found its way into Hollywood. So movies oh, yeah, and shows. I'm gonna get the mail. We got people such as, what's his name? Russell Crowe, Joaquin Phoenix. There's a lot of other names, I don't know. I just know the, uh, the shows and the movies. They create such epic characters and stories you never forget. Of course you're gonna think about the Roman Empire. We got our coffee delivery. Or society mimics it too, because they were a republic and we're technically a republic. For after school snack, I'm gonna make pizza bagels. Last time I was putting in a Costco order, the girls requested the bagel bites, because I got that last time, or like the pizza, the mini pizza pockets. They didn't have it. So I was like, you know what? I could just make it myself at home. And this was something mama did. She didn't use bagels, but she used French bread. So she would buy a huge loaf of French bread. And usually that was just a couple dollars. And then put marinara sauce, mozzarella, and mushrooms, mushrooms, and then pepperonis. And that was the best thing ever. My sister and I loved it. And it is really the perfect after school snack. So these bagels are quite thick. I'm just gonna cut them in thirds. Honey, do you have any more pizza sauce? No. Okay, okay I'll use the Rao's, or Rayo's marinara sauce, the mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna shred the rest of this mozzarella ball. And pepperoni. You want to use a tripod? It has a swivel head on it. It's okay, no thanks. Am I back in the 90s right now with these pizza bagel but Not really a bite, they're but. Giant. 90s, 2000s. Oh, those too. I was born in 90s, 2000s. Uh, they were much smaller. Frozen pizzas, bagel bites. Curious. Hot pockets. Did you guys heat it up in the microwave or toast it in the oven? Microwave. What about you, honey? Oh, all microwave? Remember they had the silver tray that yeah, that would crisp. mimic it? Did it actually work? It did, but then you bite into it and you yeah. burn the roof. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me, what was your brand of choice? For me, <gasps> Totino's and Tony's. Do you remember Tony's? Okay, but tell me Tony's. if you remember. You, t you tell me if you remember this. You really mm -hmm. have to be an 80s kid if okay. you ate this when okay. you were a kid. It was a box okay. of french fries. There were individual holes. Okay, I never had that. And each hole had a french fry in it. And then you would put it in the microwave and they would be crisp. What a waste of trash. I know, trash. but they were so good. Was it crispy? 
it was crispy because it was like wow. it was like aluminum, which Kira. was so weird. And it was it was so I have to look it up, but okay, I've never seen it after that. All right. it was probably a one hit wonder. I know it? probably what was the most popular of all those frozen foods. You know what I'm thinking about right now? Uh, frozen foods. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. What was yeah. your favorite flavor? I, for me, ham and cheese. Mine's a pizza, pepperoni pizza. But the meatballs one was also good. But yeah, I liked them all. Philly cheesesteak, honey. Philly cheesesteak. Like cheese but the Philly cheesesteak sometimes would fall out and burn you. By the way, that was bomb. I'm surprised there's still some left on the plate because that was bomb, honey. Freeze it, sell it. Let me freeze it. It's better when it's fresh. I'm just gonna. You know what? I'm gonna call out the Instacart driver. What? So here's the downside to Instacart Costco. You have no option of choosing the cheddar bagel. They just have the plain bagel. So in the notes, I noted, please get cheddar mm. bagels. And every single time, two out of three people don't listen to the instructions. Oh no. I know it's a horrible. Wow, and then she's sporting her other Hello Kitty backpack, which we found at the back of her closet. Let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> what song do you want me to find? <laughs> okay, do you know who sings? Yeah, but who sings that song? Oh, Taylor Swift! Okay, I know what's on. Me? Me? That one? Me. Okay. What's going on? For some reason, when I take business calls in here, <laughs> this little one so comfortable and of course who does who doesn't want to see this cute face in a business call huh <laughs> you know what ever since the girls are little i would take calls in the nursery because that's where all the toys are and as long as they're not pounding uh hands like this i'm able to take this call but she did start doing this i just mute mute the phone hey shh me judy she's working on right now she took a cycling class today which is cool because she hasn't been able to go to gym in a long time of course she uses a peloton but um, i'm happy that she gets to go out there so it's just me and this one and of course jmk they're somewhere around here yeah go check on your sisters huh so for tonight's dinner we're, we have shepherd's pie i just cooked half of it and then the other half i froze because i am not sure how the girls will take it how do you like it oh you didn't even try it yeah i think they all just like the mashed potatoes but how can you not love shepherd's pie it's like such basic foods like it's meat peas carrots and corn I love mashed potatoes. Who doesn't love mashed potatoes? Is that good though? I'm just eating the mashed potatoes. It's good. I never tried this. Okay. Before. This was an impulse buy because I saw Costco had it. And usually Costco, they sell the best of whatever it is that they're selling. So I mean, it's pretty good. I like it. Would I buy it again? Probably not, because if I'm the only one that's gonna eat it, it's not worth it. You like it? Uh -huh. If all the kids like it, it's worth it. So tonight was blow dry day, and this will be my hair for the next two days. You know, I never blow dry my hair all these years, and it wasn't until this year I started doing it, and it just saves me so much time. Ever since I invented those blow dry hair brushes, you really don't need to go to a dry bar unless you're even too lazy to do it at home but 
anyways i went and bought three packs of women's socks yes women's socks and they're not just for me it's for all the kids which is insane because they started taking my socks and i can't find them anymore sometimes i wear my socks three consecutive days because i can't find any other socks they've pretty much grown out of all their kids socks uh which was well used well loved and half of them had holes in them anyway it's just insane to think that now we can all share the same sock so i just got these off of amazon and praying i'm praying to the socks gods that we don't lose these socks and at least they're all white so we don't have to worry about finding pairs at least I hope so and these are nice I actually wore them to the gym and they're nice and thick they're not the cheap kinds fun fact I keep all of our socks in this little basket in the front I don't want to hear no mom where are the socks and hats and gloves and stuff <laughs> all right gonna call it a night here and I'll see you guys tomorrow Hey night. Ooh, we have somewhere special to be tomorrow night, honey. What? You wanna say where we're going tomorrow night? AJ Raphael. Ah! See you guys then. Night night. They were trying to conquer too much at one point. So they got thinned out as a military power. And they also fell into debt. Because they were funding all these conquering 